Boston is where a capacity crowd sees the NBA championship struggle between the Minneapolis Lakers and the Boston Celtics. The NBA's most fabled rivalry was born in 1959 when the Celtics beat the Lakers in the finals. The great Boston team goes on to win the National Basketball Association championship. Throughout the 1960s, it seemed as if the teams were meeting virtually every year in the finals. The Boston Celtics are world champions. And each time, Boston was the team celebrating in the end. I hated green for a long time. I wouldn't wear anything green. You just got to the point where it was so frustrating to hear the noise and shouting after games that we had lost. After losing to Boston six straight times, the Lakers faced the Celtics again in 1969. But with newly acquired Wilt Chamberlain and Game 7 on their home floor, the Lakers were certain this would finally be their year. In all the seats, when the Lakers win the championship, the USC band would play Happy Days Are Here Again. The balloons and the rafters would fall down, and Chick Hearns would interview Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Will Chamberlain in that particular order. When the players came in, I, I, I read it to all of them. I said, one thing that cannot go on, the Lakers cannot beat us. They can't beat us. But it's going to be fun to watch them get those blues out one at a time. <laughs> Helped by Don Nelson's miracle shot, the Celtics captured another NBA crown. It's all over. And there they go. They're one again. Bill, this must have been a great win for you. Fifteen years later, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson would revive this intense rivalry. I hated Larry. No other word to really use. And I disliked the Celtics. As the 1984 finals began, Magic looked to end the Boston Jinx. This has to be one of the most decisive rounds in championship game history. Today when uh, you see Magic slapping high fives and uh, guys going behind her back and shooting layups on us all day long, it seems that somebody would try to put a stop to it, but until we get our hearts uh, where they belong, we're in trouble. Here's Magic, off the mark, and here's Larry Bird, chucking down the court. History repeated itself as the Celtics won again. The Boston Celtics are the NBA world champions. One year later, the Lakers found themselves back in Boston. Magic! Larry's gonna kill you! There's no magic in here! But this time, L.A. would write a different ending. In their ninth championship showdown, the Lakers finally conquered the Celtics. The Lakers answered the Celtics' true grit with a fierce, determined performance. That whole mental and historical thing, the jinx, whatever have you, it all died at that point. Does America believe in magic? You bet we do. <laughs> and when L.A. defeated Boston again in 1987, Magic even made a believer out of Bird. Magic's just a great basketball player. He's the best I've ever seen, you know. I... Unbelievable. I don't know what to say. It took 21 years for the rivalry to be renewed in the finals. And in 2008, the Celtics beat L.A. for their 17th NBA title, restoring Celtic pride. A year later, the Lakers would get their revenge, adding banner number 15. Anytime these storied franchises meet, each new matchup conjures echoes of the past. Lakers versus Celtics have always been very intense rivals. And it's because of the people and the players that have come before all of us. You know, if there's one history you know about, it's definitely the Celtics and the Lakers. 